Just because you have a cheap mic doesn't mean you have to sound like you have a cheap mic. So welcome back to Creator Reality. Today, my friend, we're going to look at equalizers like this one here in the edit page and in the Fairlight page. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you get something out of it. And I'm gonna show you a reason that you might wanna buy DaVinci Resolve Studio. So anyway, before we get started, I am recording this on a Nikon Z30 with the Rode Video Micro microphone on it. Here's a picture, big old furry dead cat and all that. And it sounds okay. But using the equalizer uh, tweaks that I'm gonna show in this video, you're gonna be able to add a little bit more presence, add a little bit of bass, tweak things around, make it sound better. That's what we all wanna do, right? Anyway, this mic was under 50 bucks. I use it for all my talking heads. And you be the judge. Tell me down below in the comment section if you like how my videos sound. Anyway, enough preamble. Let's dive into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you some test clips and what we're working with. Here we are, I've got a talking head clip recorded with the same Nikon Z30 that I'm recording this video with. And I've got another clip that I recorded on a Canon R6 Mark II with the Rode Wireless Go. It's the one camera set up from a few years ago with the dead cat on. Hold on, actually, it's this one right here. Yeah, you can see it there. Get that in focus, boop, there you go, look at that, yes. Dead cat on it, good to go. I use this a lot on the Canon for some reason. It just, uh, it just works. It fits in my camera bag easier than that microphone and with auto gain, I clip it on here and I clip it on a hat or whatever, and it just works. So in this project, I have the raw audio and I just renamed these tracks. So if you click on it, it'll let you change the name. I can press escape to get out of that. But I have a raw and I have EQ. So we're gonna leave raw alone. And right now I'm gonna mute the EQ track and I'm just gonna play a quick snippet from each of these. So you get a sense of what the audio sounds like out of the camera with the microphones like I already told you about. So here's the first one. Again, this is the Z30 with the Rode Video Micro microphone. And your projects and restore your projects and your database. Pretty cool, right? Pretty easy. Not bad, you hear some room noise. We're gonna fix that in a second. But let's go over to the Canon footage. Harley Davidson's are out, they're released, they're in the wild, so. And you can see, you can see right here, this is where my microphone is in relation to my mouth. And this area, it's a building, and where I'm recording, I usually get a lot of reverb. But that's the raw audio, right? So let's mute the raw audio. And we're gonna start by doing a DaVinci Resolve Studio feature. We're gonna come into our audio. If you click right here in this blank space, this is track level audio. It says track level. If I click on a clip, it just has volume and audio there. So make sure you're on the track level. These things tend to work better, especially the audio in the track level instead of clip level. But anyway, we've got a bunch of options here. I don't need to mess with any of these except voice isolation. So I'm gonna click the gray dot to turn it red. Now it's on. The amount by default is 100, but I know it should be about 65 or 70. So we'll set it a little bit on the high side. And then we're gonna play back the same snippets. So let's go back to the Z30 footage of your database and your projects and restore your projects and your database. Pretty cool, right? Pretty easy. Once you've set it up, Resolve is just much better, right? There's no background noise, et cetera. But you didn't come here for that. You came here for the EQ. Let's play a quick one from the Canon. Sins are out, they're released, they're in the wild. So welcome back to Road Reality, my friend. Much better, right? We've already fixed a little bit, right? And I like to look at it holistically. So all of my EQ, FX, plugins, all that stuff handled all together. So I get a real picture, an, an audio picture of how the audio sounds. So on the track level, we don't get an equalizer, but if you click on a clip, we will get an equalizer. If you scroll down in the audio tab, it's right here. Click the gray dot to enable it. By default, you only get two of the four bands. And if you drop these down, it's different shapes so that you can fine tune the audio. And I highly recommend you tinker with these and see how they affect the audio or hear how they affect the audio. It's pretty cool stuff, but basically this is gonna come up. This one, if I turn it on, you'll see what happens. So we're gonna modify this. It's band one, so it's not gonna be the same as the other ones, but you can see how the different settings here 
change how this equalizer is going to work. If we look at band two, for instance, this one doesn't have the up and down because it's not at the uh, it's not at the end, right? Because we have this down here. There you go. Now you can see how it's going to affect things, but we can turn that one off, turn band one off. Band two, if we click on this, you can see that it's going to do a wide range of changes or a narrow range. Don't get mucked up in the weeds on this one. Just tinker around with it. You'll be able to hear it very quickly and you'll know whether or not the setting works for you. For me, I'm going to reset this and we're going to go have a little fun in the Fairlight tab. If you've never been in there, you can activate it by clicking on the music note icon. And this is Fairlight. We can turn off effects. You can see as you're playing through, you've got a meter over here that tells you your loudness. And then you've got all sorts of crazy stuff going on. And if it's confusing, don't worry about it. You can ignore all that and just come over to the mixer here where you've got all of your tracks in the mixer. You can scroll left and right down here to see all of them. We have four, so we have A1 to A4. But if you come right down here, this, this line right here shows the name of the track as we gave it in the edit page. So raw, EQ, audio three, and audio four. Up here is EQ. So to make some changes here, we want to double click on it and it'll bring up this window. And by default, it's flat, it's turned on, and we've got presets. I have one that I made. I have another one because I had a cricket here in the porch. <laughs> I have a windshield one. And I'm gonna show you how to save these in just a minute. But it comes with these dialogue ones and the general and music master. So you can add a telephone effect. You can change it dialogue mail. The one I started with was actually a mail lab finisher. So it gives me all these six e bands in the EQ. One of them's turned off, we don't need it. But then all I did, and if you commented earlier and said that you thought my audio sounded pretty good, you're gonna be shocked at just how easy it was to change. So I'm gonna come down here and select my porch talking head road video micro preset. And you'll see I just bumped up three, which changes the presence on this clip. So if I move this out of the way and I come in here and I click play. Store your projects and your database. Pretty cool, right? Pretty. And then I turn the equalizer off. Resolve is just gonna keep going at it, doing your auto saves and your live saves and all. That's pretty wild, right? Like that made a huge difference right there. And the same controls that we had in the edit page we have along the top here, but we also have fine tune controls. So you can come in and if you're looking to get rid of a specific frequency, so if I play through this with the equalizer turned on, you can see where the frequencies are that are hitting. And if you've got one that's really bothering you or you wanna get rid of, or if you wanna amplify it, you can do that here by grabbing a band, dragging it up, dragging it down, or this is band four, I'm gonna control Z to undo. You can grab the frequency here, move it back and forth, undo, do the gain, undo, and the Q factor. Wait a minute, I undo too many, <laughs> undid. Or the Q factor, which is how much of the frequencies around or how many of the frequencies around the one that you're isolating and modifying are going to be affected. This can lead to a little bit of a robotic sound if it's too narrow of a Q and too much of a gain change. But at the same time, if you widen it out a little bit or lessen the gain a little bit, you can get rid of unwanted noises or you know, boost the presence of something you do want without making it sound too garbled or processed. So it's all about a fine balance. That's why I'm not trying to give anything too specific here. I'm just showing how I changed the road video micro microphone audio from what you heard earlier, which was the raw, to what we have now. So let's go and do a preset save so that we can use this in another project. And by we, I mean you. Do this at home. We're gonna come up here and click on add preset. And it's gonna ask if I wanna update or create new. If you haven't saved any presets or you didn't start with a preset, then you're not gonna get these options. You're gonna get new or cancel. So I'm gonna create new, type in a name, call it demo, press okay. And now demo's in the list. So it's right there. And these are sorted alphabetically. So there's demo. And if you wanna get rid of one of these, cause there's no way to do that, right? Oh, I created this one, I don't want it. I'll close out of here. We can come up to Fairlight, Presets Library, Equalizer Presets, you get a whole bunch here, but Equalizer Presets, Demo, and I can click Delete. 
Boop. And you can use that to clean up your presets so that they don't get filled up with all your testing and tinkering once you found the one that works. So that was pretty cool, right? We got a reason to buy uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio in the voice isolation. Or you can look at this video here where I showed some cheaper plugins that don't cost as much as Resolve and basically do the same thing if you don't need all the other really cool things like Magic Mask. I did a video on that. There's a lot of reasons to buy Resolve and I'm not shilling for Resolve. I'm not paid by Blackmagic Design or anybody. I just happen to love this software product so much that I bought it years ago and have never regretted it. But anyway, now you know some cool ways to add a little bit of presence and change the audio so that you can make a cheap mic sound a little bit more expensive, right? Did, did, I, did I solve a problem today? Boop the like button if I did, and if you thought I solved a problem, go click on this video, Solve More Problems. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much. John out.